Hey guys, this is Mike Turn on the Knothead Tool. Gonna turn a turn for you tonight, a knot called the Salmon Egg Loop Knot. It's a snell knot and it really ties up great and its purpose is to capture baits such as salmon eggs, uh, bag baits, uh, different different scents, up to chicken, chicken livers, whatever. But it creates a loop here. And we're gonna use this small hook tonight to show you this demonstration. And you can use various sizes of hooks. You just want to make sure of one thing, that you get hooks with good eyelets that are closed loop. So that meaning so that when you bring your snell up against or run your line through, it's not getting, getting captured in the back edge of this. That will destroy a snell. So anyways, you kind of got the idea of what we're doing. A lot of people use this knot. I tied it years ago and uh, hadn't tied it till I started this venture here. So let's get started. I'm gonna take this line right here, and this is a pre-cut leader. So that we're gonna have about a six footer today, but I've turned them longer. A lot of people keep them short, but we're gonna use a little bit longer one. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the tool, how it makes it easy. So we've come up through our eyelet. We simply capture it right here in our snail capture point, leave about three inches out. That really helps you control this whole turn. And then I'm going to bring it just right around like this, and I'm going to start my turns. And I like to turn very close to the end here. It keeps everything much nicer. And if you pre-cut that leader first, it keeps a lot of the uh, coiling out. Because this mono will coil up. This is 10-pound mono. And I'll put 10 turns on there. We're working around a pretty small hook. Okay, and then I just flip this line over to this side, and I grab the end of it. And I put him just down in here about an inch and a half, two inches. Okay? Then, since it's on this side now, I just bring it back right here. And I place it right on my hook in the center. And I try to keep it as close to center. And again, I start turning over this. And I work as close as I can around this edge here. You don't have to get in real close. But it keeps it nice and tight and snug. And when I come over, you can see I'm capturing that with my finger. Okay? Now you can wrap it real close or capture it or do it whichever way you want. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it back this time. And I'm gonna bring this line. I got it to my left side, as you can see. We got this line going through the middle here, so I make sure that's kind of centered. You don't wanna pull this end out, but I make sure it's centered up on the top. Put my hand right here, and I take a hold of here, and I start pulling through. Now one thing you have to be careful of is when you're pulling this through, you don't create a loop, but it's easy enough to straighten out, then you just come back. And this this happens mostly when you get six and seven foot leaders. And you just clear that as you go. Now on shorter, shorter ones, you don't really have to pay that much attention to it, but you do have to watch so you don't get any line. Okay, so I followed that all the way back in there just like that. I'll put a little tension on, I'll bring it up here and hold right here. When I get there, I take it out. I make sure my line's coming up to the center, right down the back of it. And then I'll hold on to this and I'll pull it out just like this. You can see that. I pull it out just like that. And then I take both lines. If it's centered pretty good, I'll take both lines, tag left, main right, and I'll pull tension against them. That's why I like to leave about four or five inches on that end. And I'll pull it right into my eyelet. Okay, let me cut my tag off now. You can see this. Sorry if I'm jumping around, but I also have a camera in between me. That's what you end up with right there. It's a very, very strong knot. Like I said, different size hooks. A little easier to do than this small circle hook I got here. Pulls in very nice, and you've centered your line on there, so that's pretty well centered on the hook. And that's where you capture the baits right there. One little trick that I've done before, when you make that first turn, and you come back, you get halfway where you get to your end of your 10 turns, you bring that end back through. If you take just a second, you can stick this tag in from the other end right through the loop that's created there, and that'll put a little tension on this if you really need it. This really pretty much holds it in place no matter what you're doing. You know, it'll just kind of bind against her and hold. So that's the salmon egg loop knot tied on the knot head tool. And uh, hope you like this knot, and we got several others we're doing. Really great captures. Take a look at the Knothead tool at the uh, knothead.com 
And thanks for viewing, and we'll uh, hope to see you out on the lake. Thank you.